Come into a comfortable seated position on your yoga mat. Sit tall. Roll your shoulders back and close your eyes. Take three deep breaths in and fully exhale each time. With each exhale, let your mind become quiet. Let your worries and your thoughts fizzle away. And on your next inhale, bring the torso forward for child's pose. Rest your head on the mat, reach your arms forward, and feel a really good stretch in the shoulders and armpits. Take full deep breaths. On your next inhale, we'll come forward onto all fours, knees directly under hips, hands, elbows, and shoulders in one line. Knees are hip distance, curl your toes. As you inhale, lift the head and the tailbone. Arms are strong and straight. Exhale, push the mat away from you, lower the head. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push. Make your movement slow and controlled and feel your body move with each inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the mat away. On your next inhale, come to a flat back. Take a deep breath in and lift the hips for downward facing dog. It's the first one in the day, so make any small movements you need to. Shake your head. Let the head be really heavy and reach your heels back to the mat. Don't worry if they don't get there. Just keep intending for the heels to come down to the mat. On your next inhale, walk your hands towards your feet. Keep a little micro bend in the legs. Grab opposite elbows and come into ragdoll position. As you inhale, bend your knees and then intend to straighten. On your next inhale, visualize the inhale not from your nose, but from the bottoms of your feet. So follow it all the way up your legs. And as you exhale, let your upper body melt over your thighs. And you can stay in stillness or you can swing the upper body side to side. On your next inhale, come to the center. Bend your knees and walk your hands out to plank position. So shoulders over wrists, fingers spread. Really dig into the mat like you're a rock climber. Core is engaged. And then bring the knees down and slide back into child's pose for one full deep breath. As you exhale fully, come forward into all fours and then lift the hips and knees for plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. Picturing the body as an upside down letter V. As you inhale, lift the right leg, spread the right toes. As you exhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. The right armpit is gonna try to lift, so bring it in line with the left armpit. Keep pushing the mat away. Weight is evenly distributed between both hands. As you inhale, use your core to bring the knee in close to the chest as you step the foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, left knee comes to the mat, and the torso lifts. As you sink into this pose, visualize the left knee and the right foot as if they're magnetized. So that will create a little lift in the pelvic floor. Keep that as you bring the left hand down to the mat and the right arm lifts. Look up overhead. Exhale, right hand to mat. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, roll all the way up, Tadasana mountain pose. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Fingers in line with the toes. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, long spine, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant the hands and step or jump back into plank pose. So arms are strong, core is engaged. As you inhale, lift up into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here, picturing the body's upside down letter V. And when you're ready, inhale and lift the left leg. Left toes spread. As you exhale, bend left knee. Open up the hip. And then the left shoulder, the left armpit will try to come out of alignment, so bring it into alignment. Push evenly between both hands. Breathe into any areas of tension. And on your next inhale, use your core strength to hug the knee in close to the chest as you bring the foot forward. Right knee comes to the mat, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, sink into the pose. Spread the fingers, arms are strong and plugged into the body. Right knee and left foot are magnetized. As you inhale, lift the left arm, right fingertips on the ground, little twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift right knee and step forward into forward fold. As you inhale, long spine, look ahead. Exhale, bend the knees and roll all the way up, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward, fingers in line with the toes, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump back into plank pose. So really push out of the bottoms of the feet. Legs are strong, arms are strong. Inhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Lift up for upward facing dog. Hands and feet on the mat. Inhale, hips lift, downward facing dog. We're going to incorporate both warrior one and warrior two in the next vinyasa. So on your next inhale, lift your right leg, spread right toes. Exhale, step forward. Look down at your left ankle, make sure it's in line with your right heel. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one, hips are facing forward, right knee is bent, but the knee is over the ankle or slightly behind, not in front of the ankle. Push into the outer edge of the left foot, inhale, hands to heart. As you exhale, send the arms out in front, open up left, the left arm, and look down at the left leg. Outer edge is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Warrior two. Arms are strong, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. As you inhale, bring the hands down to the front of the mat and we'll inch the left foot forward so we can come to the front of the mat with the hands. Grab hold of a block if you have one and we'll take half moon pose. So picture the shoulder blades stacked on top of each other. Left arm in line with right arm, left hip open, and left toes flexed. Core is strong, standing leg is strong, and just your fingertips are on the block or on the ground. When you're ready to release the pose, come back into warrior two. In inhale, lift the right arm. As you exhale, come down onto the mat and step back for plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, lift the left leg as high as you can. Toes are spread. Inhale, use core strength to step the left foot to the front of the mat. Right ankle in line with left heel. Inhale, warrior two. Left knee is bent, but the knee is not in front of the ankle. Hips are facing forward. And as you inhale, bring the hands to your heart. Send the arms out in front and open up the right arm. 
Look down at the right foot and make sure the outer edge is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Core is strong. Sit deep in the leg and press into the outer edge of the right foot. Inhale, lift left arm. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. And then we'll inch the back foot up and take half moon pose on the other side. Use your block if you need to. See if you can just put the left fingertips on the ground and use the hand like a straw. So imagine that you're sucking up energy. And that may help to stabilize you. Right foot is flexed, toes are engaged. And as you inhale, drop back, warrior two. Inhale, hands come down. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, chaturanga. Roll over the toes for up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes for down dog. Check in with your alignment here. So push the mat away from you. Armpits are long. No tension in the neck. Legs are strong. Heels are reaching down towards the ground. Hips are up towards the sky. As you inhale, look forward and jump to the front of the mat, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, chin to shins. Inhale, rise all the way up, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands to the heart. From here, we'll just slowly come down to the mat for a seated sequence. So peel the knees open and push the bottoms of the feet together. Bring your thumbs into the arches and wrap your fingers around your feet. As you inhale, open up the feet as if you're opening up a book. Your spine is long, and if it's not, then you're sitting back like this. And if you're doing that, then that might mean that you're really tight in the low back and in the hamstrings. So to modify, you can sit on a block, and then when you do that, tilt your pelvis forward. That automatically helps your spine get really long so that you're not doing the slouch. As you inhale, come forward. Breathe into any areas of tightness. Find your edge, that place where you're like really starting to work. It's not painful, it's not dangerous, but it's out of your comfort zone. Breathe full, deep. Powerful breaths. With each exhale, come down just a little bit more. Keep pulling your feet open. Looking straight ahead, not straight down. Your back is really long. We'll take just one more breath here. And when you're ready, release the pose and bring the knees together. As you inhale, extend the left leg and bend the right knee. Push the right calf out to the right. Flex the left foot and slowly lower yourself back. Now you may just stay here in your forearms or you may come all the way down. You wanna have the chest lifted. Breathing here into the right quadricep. You can close your eyes if that feels good for you. Arms are overhead or you're on your forearms. Just trying to find length across the front of the leg and breathing into any areas of tension. When you're ready, sit up gently and slowly. And then we'll reach the spine forward for a seated forward fold. So there shouldn't be any pain here at all. If you have any pain at all, just back off and come out of it. Think about feeling your stomach on your thighs and that will help to get your spine to be really long. And as you exhale, release the pose and we'll take it to the other side. So bend the left knee, push the calf muscle out to the left and then slowly lower yourself down. You may just stay on your forearms or you may take the full expression and take your arms overhead with your head on the mat. If you're taking this variation, make sure that your chest stays lifted. 
Breathe into the left quadricep. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. With each exhale, feel yourself just sink deeper into the mat. Scan your body for any areas of tension, anywhere where you're holding stress, and just let it go. On your next inhale, slowly, gently set yourself up. Tilt the pelvis forward, long spine, and then gently come forward. And instead of thinking about getting your head down to your leg, think about getting your stomach down to your leg. Inhale, release the pose. And we'll come into supine spinal twist. So bend your knees, left knee out in front. Right foot crossed over left thigh, right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, bend at the elbow. And bring the elbow to the outer edge of the right knee. As you inhale, sit up. Look out over your right shoulder, shoulder blades drawn toward each other. And with each exhale, with the twist initiated at the navel, turn a little bit more. You can stay there, or if you'd like to take it a step further, you can come into a bind if that's in your practice. You really wanna sit as tall as you can. Check in with your spine, is it tall? Check in with your twist, twist from the stomach. Check in with your right foot, is it pushing into the mat? Is your right knee directly up towards the sky? As you inhale, look ahead and slowly release the pose. We'll come into the other side. So the right knee is out in front, left foot crossed over right thigh. Left hand behind you, right hand up overhead. Bend the elbow and push it into the outside of the left thigh. As you inhale, sit tall. As you exhale, twist from the navel. Take a bind if that's in your practice. Shoulder blades drawing toward each other. Try not to cave in with the chest. Collarbones broad. With each exhale, twisting just a little bit more. And as you inhale, look ahead. Gently unravel yourself and release the pose. Arms out in front and we'll slowly lower all the way down to the mat for a few supine postures. Use your core strength, go slower than you want to go. On your next inhale, hug the right knee in towards your chest. Extend the leg. And then with each exhale, gently pull it towards your face. So imagine that you're doing a split. Right toes are spread. And when you're ready, release the pose and we'll come to the other side. Extend right leg. Lift left leg. Left toes are spread and with each exhale, pull the leg down towards your chest. Push out of the bottom of the right foot, keep the right leg engaged even though it's down on the mat. And when you're ready, release the pose. We'll take the feet hip distance apart, knees are bent. Open up the arms a little and we'll just slowly rock the knees from side to side, giving yourselves a little massage on the low back and the hips. Let your legs be really heavy when they come all the way down to one side. One more time each side. And then from here, cross the right leg over the left. Open the arms even wider and inhale, lift the legs. On the next inhale, take the legs to the left. 
Left hand can come down to the legs if that feels good. And turn and look out over your right shoulder. With each exhale, feel the shoulder melt down towards the ground. The legs be really heavy, almost sinking into the ground. Really nice supine spinal twist here. As you inhale, come back to center, unravel the legs. And then we'll cross left leg over right. Inhale, lift the legs, toes are spread. Exhale, legs come to the right. Look out over your left shoulder. Right hand can come down to the legs. And with each exhale, feel the shoulder and the legs melt down towards the ground. On the next inhale, come back to center. Give the legs a little hug. And then we'll open up the legs, feet are flexed. Let the legs be really heavy and with your hands, pull the legs open even more. Almost as if you're trying to pull the knees down to the ground. Let your eyes close, breathe into any areas of tension. This is a good stretch for the groin. Make sure your low back is glued to the mat. Take one last deep breath in. And as you exhale, push the knees together and send the legs out for Shavasana. Let your eyes close. Let your arms be heavy. Let your hips be heavy. Let your legs be heavy. Let your feet splay out to the side. And let go of your awareness to your breath. Let yourself breathe naturally and let your body absorb all the good things you just did. Try to stay here for at least five minutes. Thank you for practicing with me today.